You know, most would agree that one of the hottest parts of the economy has been housing. And today we learned that prices of newly built homes hit a record. Sales rose in May despite a shortage of homes for sale. Builders say that they would like to put up more homes, but they're just facing tight regulations on land use, which is only driving their costs even higher. But a new trend in townhomes could be the solution. Diana Olick has our story for us tonight. They may not be as swanky as single family homes, but townhomes are taking off in today's tight real estate market. There seems to be a general philosophy by local governments to increase density and be more efficient with land uses. Like here in this Maryland suburb just south of the nation's capital, where empty land is scarce. Mid-Atlantic Builders is taking advantage of every square foot. So they're really encouraging more townhome and even uh, products where you have uh, rental mixed in, higher density because the typical suburban single family home is going to be harder and harder to find land for, um, particularly in maturing uh, metropolitan areas like Washington. Demand for newly built homes is high, especially as the number of existing homes for sale keeps hitting new lows. Builders are increasing production slowly, but are still well below historical levels. The median price of a home sold in May hit a new record high, despite builders claiming they're targeting the first-time buyer. Clearly, they can't afford to. Builders say new regulations not only add huge costs, but slow the process as well. Permitting can take months, especially in major metropolitan areas like here in D.C. Townhomes are a way around that, as local governments encourage builders to put up more units on less land. Townhomes may be less private, but they are more affordable for both developers and buyers. In today's tight market, that's something to build on. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington.